All right, this is Isaiah. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is Isaiah 5 <clears throat> and 13. Therefore, my people are gone into captivity because they have no knowledge, and their honorable men are famished, and their multitude dried up with thirst. Therefore, hell hath enlarged herself and opened herself without measure, and their glory and their pomp, and their multitude and their pomp, and he that rejoices shall descend into it. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham, Ba'asham, Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutation to you, Osman, pushing this word with true sincerity, with charity, within your bodies of living sacrifice. We who are ready to live salute you. All right. And uh, I just want to go into this lesson. All right. And, um, all right. <laughs> and, uh, I'm thinking about T.D. Jakes. Have you ever been swallowed? <laughs> But yeah, that's what this devil is about to do, man. He's about to try to swallow you, 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 you uh, people up, man. Mainly you Israelites, man. All right, because um, what does the scripture say about this devil? All right. Right, this is Habakkuk um, 2 and 5. Yea, also because he transgresseth by wine, he is a proud man, neither keepeth at home, who enlargeth his desire as hell and is as death, it cannot be satisfied. Right, and that's Esau Edom, man. He's pretty much uh, swallowed up down the whole world, man. But gathereth unto him all nations, and heapeth unto him all people. All right. All right. So, hey, the scriptures, the Lord is telling you he is as hell, man. All right. He is as hell. And what does the scripture say about hell? Let me get that. Uh, uh, grab the scripture. This is Proverbs 30 and 15. There's a generation whose teeth are as swords and their jaw teeth as knives to devour the poor from the earth and the needy from among men. The horse leech have two daughters crying, give, give, right? <clears throat> and a leech is a um, parasite, all right? It's a blood sucker, all right? <laughs> now Israel is like that horse, you know, you have a term called a work, work horse, right? All right, we're that workhorse, <laughs> and and Esau's sucking our damn blood, man. All right, and scriptures talk about him. He's a man of blood. All right, he he can't be satisfied. Uh, it, it says, um, scripture says he would not be satisfied with blood, man. All right, since thou not hated blood, blood shall pursue thee. So these these devils, they they're living off of us, man. They're, they're, they're sucking our blood dry, man. There are three things that are never satisfied. Yea, four things say it is not enough. The grave, all right, and that is hell. That's what hell means. Hell means the grave, all right? Okay, and the grave never goes to capacity, all right? The grave never uh, says it's, it's enough, Okay. And the barren womb, right? Yeah, a woman with a barren root womb. Yeah, you keep shooting a club up, <laughs> but ain't but but hey, you ain't gonna get nothing out, man. <laughs> you know, yeah, it's just like throwing a a, a a a penny down a bottomless pit, man. <laughs> the earth that is not filled with water, right? The is you know the earth is not you you know. <laughs> The earth is filled with water, man. You know, the the earth is mostly water. So, <laughs> and the fire that saith not it is enough. All right, all right, because of you know, 
going unchecked, a, a fire will burn down a whole damn town, man. If it's unchecked, it could burn down a town in one night. You know, and that's how Esau Edom is. He's insatiable. All right, look up that word. He can't be satisfied. <laughs> okay. And that's who the Lord's sending against this these people, man. All right. All right. He's a uh, matter of fact, let me get it. This is Habakkuk 3 and 14. Thou didst strike through with staves the head of his villages that came out as a whirlwind to scatter me. They're rejoicing. Right. And as Christians talk about how the enemy will come in as a flood. man. All right. Their rejoicing was as to devour the poor secretly. All right. And that's his uh, mindset, man. He wants to devour the poor secretly. That's why he's putting all these things into legislation, man. All right. Uh, uh, you know, you can't be saying things online and that are hateful and you're inciting things. And really, this is all traps and legislation so he can get his hands on the prophets man because he wants to what devour um devour us privily man all right but what did the lord say man um uh, right this is uh so lucky This is Job 20 and 12. Though wickedness be sweet in his mouth, though he hide it under his tongue, though he spare it and forsake it not, but keep it still within his mouth, yet his meat and his bowels is turned. It is the gall of asps within him. Right. <laughs> you know? So, hey, the Lord, this man swallowed down the whole earth, man. But the Lord is making his stomach rumble right now. And, and how's he doing that? He's doing that through the prophets, man, and through the prophecies, right? This this, this man's not able to rest easy. And he swallowed us down, but, hey, we get ready to bust out of his belly, man. All right? He have swallowed down riches, and he shall vomit them up again. Yahweh shall cast them out of his belly. All right? So, yeah, man. You swallow down riches. You swallowed up the people, man. But yeah, how about Shimei Al-Shah is about to cast, cast it out of your belly, man. You know, I like it uh, onto, um, you know, when you see one of them big-ass pythons, they try to swallow down something that's too big for them, and it ends up busting their stomach and they die. I've seen that. I've seen, like, a anaconda with them big snakes try to swallow, like, a deer or some shit. The shit was too big, <laughs> One of the antlers bust through his stomach. Then all his guts and entrails came out, man. And, you know, you bit off something that, you know, you wasn't able to digest. You bit off more than you could chew, as they say. All right. And that's the thing with this devil. But uh, um, because he's about to try to swallow down. every. See, that's what this whole MOTB system is, man. All right. Uh, matter of fact, so he sends into it. Uh, um, I'm gonna start it. Bear with me, Isaiah. Five. This is Isaiah five. Uh, yeah, it's Isaiah 5. I started at 11. Woe to them that rise up early in the morning, that they may follow strong drink. And a strong drink is like an unto false philosophies, man. The main one I'm thinking about is um, um, America. Because America itself is an ideology. It's a, it's a um, mindset. It's a, an idol, really. You know, and our people are looking towards this idol. All right, they're looking towards this idol. They're looking towards this serpent, really, man. 
You know, they, they're looking towards the wicked serpent. We're looking towards it. Hey, just like, um, because the serpent is about to put that venom in y'all ass, man. All right. He going to put that juicy juice in you. He going to put that MOTB in you ultimate, ultimately. And that's his way of swallowing down the whole world, man. Scripture says he calls it all both small and great, uh, rich and poor, free and bond to receive that M-A-R-K, man. All right. It says that continue on tonight to wine and flame them. And that's what's about to happen, man. You've been drunk off this Babylonian juice and it's about to inflame you. And people are already becoming inflamed. That's why they're all on TikTok <laughs> crying about this situation, man. All right. They feel betrayed, but that's the thing. You wondered after the beast and the harp and the vial, the tabret and the pipe and wine are in their feasts. But they regard not the work of Yahweh, neither consider the operation of his hands. All right. Neither, uh, 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 neither, uh, uh, consider the work of the Lord's hands. All right. Therefore, my people are gone into captivity because they have no knowledge and their honorable men are famished and their multitude dried up with thirst. Therefore, hell have enlarged herself and opened her mouth without measure and their glory and their multitude and their pomp, and he that rejoiceth shall descend into it. All right, so amen. That that hey, hey, that serpent is because hey, what happens when a serpent is swallowing down something? It, its mouth gets bigger. All right, it contours to the size of the meal. All right, and that's what Esau. Um, that's what Esau is doing, man. His mouth is, he's enlarging his belly. He's enlarging hell. All right. That pit has been dig for you people, man. All right. And he's getting ready to try to swallow you down, man. Swallow. <laughs> but uh, as far as the elect is concerned, Lord willing, we be of that number. Hey, the Lord is going to, matter of fact, let me get it. Because he's going to try to devour us. This is Isaiah 29 and 7. And the multitude of all the nations that fight against Ariel, which is uh, uh, Israel, all right? Even all that, and the Lord's only to come to defend the Israel of God, all right? That's the elect. Even all that fight against her and her munition and that distress her shall be as a dream of a night vision. It shall even be as when an hungry man dreameth and behold, he eateth, but he awaketh, and his soul is empty. So, hey, this this devil is dreaming about that meal, man. All right. <laughs> uh, he, he's dreaming about devouring the Israelites, man. You know, all, all the world, all the people, but mainly the Israelites, right? Or as when a thirsty man dreameth, and behold, he drinketh, but he awaketh, and behold, he is faint. <laughs> And his soul hath appetite. So yeah, it's going to be like a dream. It was all a dream. So shall the multitude of all the nations be that fight against Mount Zion. So all these nations, they're going to, I read it earlier, they, they hope was to devour the poor privily, man. All right. They're going to want to, going to want to, and try to devour Israel, mainly the elect, the scripture says they shall be as madmen, sparing none, still spoiling and destroying those that fear you. How about you, man? All right. And that's what's about to happen. The Lord said, I shall send them against a hypocritical nation to take the spoil and to uh, tread them down as a mire of the street, roughly paraphrasing. All right. Hey, but for, um, hey, for the, as far as the elect is concerned, you try, when you, try to devour them, the Lord's going to smack that meal out of your hands, man. He's going to smack that meal out of your hand, man. All right? Because we're really like the bait, man. You know, the Lord's fishing for Leviathan, man. All right, Leviathan being uh, Esau, Edom, you know. 
because you know you got the real Leviathan and you have Esau, which is likened unto uh, that great serpent. So you know the Lord is either talking about the real Leviathan or He's talking about him in the scriptures when He when He speaks about Leviathan. All right, but right now the Lord is because when you read about you know you read about the real Leviathan in the Book of Job, it tells you can you bore his jaw with a hook? All right. Can you can you sell him to his maidens? Can you chop him up? Basic, roughly paraphrasing. Can you chop him up? Can you can you catch him like a fish? That's not something you can do with Leviathan because he's a great the real Leviathan because he's a great fish. He's a great dragon. All right. Can you put a hook in his jaw? Can you can you serve him up like like at the fish market? No, you can't do that. And spiritually, that's like it onto Esau as well because no. Because it's because what did the Lord say about uh, the real Levite, and He said only He who made him can cause His sword to approach unto Him. All right, meaning no man on this earth could destroy Levite. Then once He's unleashed, only one who could do that at that time is the Lord. All right, and it's the same thing spiritually with Esau Edom, because Esau Edom was given that great sword by Isaac. And and that and that blessing, and no man could 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 take him down carnally, but the one who gave him the sword, and that's what the Lord is about to do. He's about to not smack the uh, as the scripture says, uh, he will smack the bow out of his hand. Man. All right, he gonna he gonna smite smite this devil, man. As scripture says, he he wounded the head of Leviathan, man. And gave him to be meat to the people in the wilderness. See, he's going to be devoured. Matter of fact, let me get a scripture on that. Um, shall be devoured. Uh, right, this is Jeremiah 30. I'll start it uh Yeah, I'll start at 16. Jeremiah 13, 16. Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured, and all thy adversaries, every one of them, shall go into captivity. Right? So you're going to be devoured. We're going to de <laughs> Israel's going to devour you. All right? And they shall spoil thee that be a spoil, and all that prey upon thee will I give for a prey. And you're going to be for a prey, man. Scriptures talk about how we're going to round you up. We're going to sell you to the Sabians, the people of far off, which really they're just going to be taskmasters. Okay. All right. So you're, you're going to be uh, 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 devoured, man. Okay. You know. But when you divide, when you try to devour us, man, because hey, the Lord, like I said, the Lord is losing, using us as bait. Or it says, uh, thou, "Thou fear not, thou worm, Jacob." All right, I will help thee. You know what do people usually go fishing with with a worm, right? These are all spiritual aspects, by the way. Okay, <laughs> we're that worm that's on the hook. And when you bite down, that's your ass, man. <laughs> you know, that's your ass. And the Lord's going to deliver us, man, when you do try to. Because what is this, man? Let me get one more scripture. I'll probably end it on this note. Um, I want to say that it peace. I have to remember how it's worded. Right. This is Amos 3 and 12. Thus saith Yahweh as the shepherd taketh out of the mouth of it of the uh, mouth of the lion two legs or a piece of an ear, so shall the children of Israel be taken out that dwell in Samaria, in the corner of a bed, and in Damascus in a couch. Right. So Yahweh by Shimei Shah, <laughs> he's gonna take that. He's gonna take us right, he's gonna take us right out of your mouth, man, when you try to devour us, man. You know, <laughs> hey, that's like King David used to do, man. You know, when he was a sheep herder, man. 
you had a lion run off with one of his uh sheep he hawked that motherfucker down and put that lion to death man over his sheep man same thing with a bear man that's what Yahweh about shimmy out shots finna do for uh for the elect in these days all right because Yahweh about shimmy out shots hunting for this devil man in fact let me get this one i might end on this one uh, let me right. <clears throat> this is Isaiah thirty two and one, and it came to pass in the twelfth year and the twelfth month of the first day of the month of the word of Yahweh came unto me, saying, Son of man, take up a lamentation for Pharaoh, king of Egypt, right? And what and what's then is now, because who was the Neo Pharaoh, right? The new pharaoh would be the elites, man. All right, these elite, these small hats. All right, these international bakers, well, people that you would call the Illuminati, whatever you want to call them. That's that's who they are. These little hats. All right, say unto him, thou art like a young lion of the nations, right? The new child, the the neo Chaldeans, right? So, and the Lord is likening him unto a lion. Why? Because he's been devouring us, man. He's been devouring the whole world. And thou art as a whale in the seas, and thou camest forth with thy rivers and troublest the waters with thy feet and foldest their rivers. Okay. You know, that's him coming with his armies, man. Crushing people, okay devouring them you know so he's like a whale man or a, a, a lion a whale is something that'll swallow you up man or a sea creature okay thus said Yahweh power i will therefore spread out my net over thee with a company of many people all right okay and usually when you um you know, that's another tool a fisherman uses, right? Is a net. And they shall bring thee up in my net. Okay? And this is, yeah, this is Fishing for Leviathan 101. Yahweh Bashimi Al Shai is setting this devil up. All right? Then will I leave thee upon the land, and I will cast thee forth upon the field. And I will cause all the fowls of heaven to remain upon thee. And I will fill the beasts of the whole earth with thee. And I will lay thy flesh upon the mountains and will fill the valleys with thy height. So, yeah, you're going to be devoured, man. You're going to be devoured. Okay, how about Shimei al is getting ready to serve this devil up, man, on a golden platter, man. All right. <laughs> Uh, whole earth with thee, and I will lay thy flesh upon the mountains and fill the valleys with thy height. I will also water with thy blood the land wherein thou swimmest, even to the mountains, and the rivers shall be full of thee. Right? Because you're that uh, uh, dragon that dwelleth upon many waters. All right? And when I shall put thee out, I will cover the heaven and make the stars thereof dark and will cover the sun with a cloud and the moon shall not give her light. All right. Okay. So yeah, man, you could, uh, I'll just read a little bit down. And when I shall, uh, it says, and all thy bright lights of heaven, will I make dark over thee, right? And as scripture says in Job, the light of the wicked shall be put out, and the spark of his fire shall not shine, man. And set darkness upon thy land, saith Yahweh. I will also vest the hearts of many people, when I shall bring thy destruction among the nations unto the countries which thou hast not known. All right, and these things that happened in the past, but hey, they're a prelude to what's happening now, what's about to happen. 
Yeah, I will make many people amazed at thee, and their kings shall be horribly afraid for thee, when I shall brandish my sword before them, and they shall tremble at every moment, every man to his for his own life in the day of thy fall. All right. For thus save you how power the sword of the king of Babylon shall come upon. Right, well, that's about it. You know, because these things applied back then. You know what I'm saying? But hey, we could use these scriptures now because it's the same way that the Lord is about to bring this devil down. You know, what's then is now. This nigga is the modern day uh, Egypt. Uh, he's the new Egyptians, man. And this is the Neo Egypt, as the scripture says, man. All right. Um, uh, spiritually called Sodom and Egypt. So the same way he. <laughs> He did these other nations. He's about to do to this devil, man. But even on a grander scale, man. All right. So, yeah, man. Yahweh Shemi Al-Shai has uh, devised destruction upon Esau Edom, man. You know, and, and Babylon the Great. All right. Because what it says uh, in the book of Revelation, she was drunken with the blood of the saints, man. All right, this devil has been devouring us. Now his is you know Yah Bashmi Asha is about to have him devoured, man. All right. So yeah, man. Oh, just a little lesson I wanted to do. Hope there's some edification within it, and uh, shalom.